This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Jasmine Stiles. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Covington police believe a man found dead on I-7175 this morning was hit by a passing vehicle, most likely a semi-truck. Police are working to determine exactly when this happened, but police say the victim was seen at St. Elizabeth Covington around 3 a.m. It's still unclear why the man was on the interstate. Police shut down the northbound lanes for hours after the man's body was found. They reopened the interstate just before noon. Cincinnati city leaders are calling for an end to gun violence as police search for the gunman involved in a mass shooting out in OTR. Early Sunday morning, police say at least two suspects fired 15 shots along Main Street. Nine people were hurt. Luckily, no one was killed. All of the victims have been released from the hospital. Police are asking anyone with information that could help them track down the suspects to call Crime Stoppers. That number for you is 513-352-3040. It is official. Fiona has a baby brother. A few hours ago, the zoo announced Bibby's new calf is a boy. Zookeepers say mom and baby are inseparable, which is why it took almost five days to be sure. They'll continue to bond inside for another week or two before they're outside for you to visit in Hippo Cove. The zoo is asking people to submit name suggestions for Fiona's brother. You can find the link to send your suggestion right now on WCPO.com. Now let's check in with Brandon. I think Brandon would be an appropriate name. It would be BB and Brandon and Fiona. 89 degrees out there today. Hot and humid. Feels like temperatures up towards 100. This afternoon we'll see an isolated storm or two. Those could last into the overnight tonight. We're down to 72 and then into your Tuesday, 82, not as hot, a lot more cloud cover with scattered showers and storms possible. We'll hold on to the rain as well as we move on into Wednesday. But the end of the week showing us some signs of cooler weather, a high Friday, 79 with sunshine.